Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Orzhov Angels. So yesterday we played Mono White Angels and had some good success with it. And this time we're going to be trying a very similar deck, but we're going to be putting some black on our deck to go along with the whites, mostly so we can use Seraph of the Scales. That's the big reason to be playing Orzhov instead of just Mono White is you get access to this incredibly good angel here. Plus, that art is amazing, so, you know, it's the main reason why we're playing this. Besides that, we also get some pretty solid removal. Instead of having to, to play Ixalan's Binding, we have cards like Mortify and Cast Down, so we have some pretty solid removal to go along with it. Plus, we have another Planeswalker we can add in with Kaya. So, uh, the other thing we get with Black is we get Duress in the sideboard, because, you know, how, like, with the Model White, we're a little worried about our control matchup. Even though we did beat Esper Control yesterday twice with the deck, we have um, duresses to go along with it. So I'm going with just three Adanto and three Takali here instead of four and four so that I could fit more removal in the deck. Because there's some matchups where Adanto's good in, there's some matchups where Honor Guard's good in, but they're not real, you know, it's it's that kind of thing, but they're not great against every everybody. So I have the fourth of each in the sideboard. So if we're playing against a deck where we really want Vanguards, we get our fourth in and, and so on. We got our fourth Honor Guard. But just going with three and three in the main deck. And that's what we have. We have a, a, a more diversified sideboard here with the deck. And let's give it a try. Yesterday, whenever we played this, we didn't have uh, these 3D cards for all these angels like we do today. We didn't have these yesterday whenever we played. But uh, we had some donations, so we got some more gems, so we got them. So now it looks even better. So let's get back to playing some angels, and we'll see how... Orzhov Angels matches up to uh, Mono White. <laughs> Thanks, Real Smoif. Alright, so this is our second deck today for our 12 hour stream. Zav's looking cool. Well, <laughs> if we're playing against Sultai, this is a pretty good hand. It's not bad against aggro and stuff either. Good game. Does look like we're playing against Sultai. No. My avatar is Lazav. Lazav the Multifarious. Ah, mono green. So we got. Green Stompy splashing black, most likely for find finality. And like Assassin's Trophy, Duress, stuff like that in the sideboard. Certainly use. I'm not going to kill the Brontodon. Brontodon's not that big a deal. Use any of our angels, or an Ajani would be nice. Something that's not just a Kali Honor Garden. Ugh. That's bad. Bad news. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Come to me. Yeah, we're only playing three Honor Guards. You drew them all. I think we're just dead now. 
because you know all of our angels will just die to Vivian. The best best card we could draw is Seraph of the Scales, for sure, because Seraph dies but uh, leaves behind a couple bodies. From a Vivian minus. Our opponents really making it seem like they have an instant that they're considering playing. Probably boarding out Honor Guards and Adanto Vanguards. <laughs> Probably just gonna board out both of these guards. That's not a great showing of of the cards we've drawn this game. No one knows the wilds like a I. A bunch do. of lands, two removal spells, and four creatures we're boarding out. <laughs> Lazav looks like my high school pick from 20 years ago. <laughs> So it's, un it's unclear if our opponent does have any explorer creatures. It doesn't seem like it with having Thorn Lieutenants and Brontodons, but I guess it's possible that they they do. The wilds are my shield. And I could have attacked with all the Takali Honor Guards to do like one damage or whatever to Vivian. I don't know. We're just pretty dead. Yeah, no real surprise that that all those cards are going to be real. Not not surprised by that at all. I didn't think that those were cards that uh, I don't know, fake cards, I guess, for lack of a better term. I guess I want the, yeah, I guess this way we just have our tithe taker die. So yeah, we get to attack Vivian for one with our flyer. We can't block that Steel Leaf champion. We're just dead. Let's get another cast down, a couple of contempts. Hmm. These other mortifies. How about Kaya? I don't hate Sp Spyglass for Vivian. I don't hate that. If I do take all, out all of those, our Johnny's not looking as good. So they likely have like Llanowar Elf is like the only thing that this minuses and gets rid of.
I'll keep two honor cards. Just need like the two drop creature. Yeah, it's possible they have fine finality. That is true. It is certainly possible they have fine finality. All right, history time. We need a little history here. I like it. They did not do the 3D cards for any of the for any of the sagas. They would have looked really cool. So even though Seraph is probably a better card than than history, I think it's it's just really good to have them both back to back. So we just played Sultai Vanifar. So I'm not gonna let them have a 3-2 that trades with one of my creatures. Yeah, we saw Vivian's arc bow. Yeah, I talked about that. I'm definitely glad it's an artifact, not an enchantment. It's harder to kill artifacts than enchantments. But well, it looks pretty nice. That's my kind of card. It, putting creatures in into play at instant speed is really nice. <clears throat> but it's not, it's not like always reliable. You know, like how when you have Viv, like think about like regular Vivian. You tick up, and you may not find a creature. You know, sometimes you whiff on creatures, and so like let's say you have like four mana, and you discard a card and pay four. And there's not a four drop or less in those top four. You just discarded a card for nothing. I think Vivian's Arc Bow is the kind of card that looks better than what it will, like from a preview st standpoint, than like how much play it will probably see. Hey! Height is on a four month streak. What's up? Welcome back. Sub battle countdown down to 68. Hopefully we get there later on in the week. And start. We'll have our first sub battle potentially later this week. How do I beat Gates with Esper Control? Yeah. You kind of have to draw all your exile spells for their 8-8s, eight don't you? Guess that could be a problem. You certainly want, you know, all your mortifies. You gotta kill Guild Summit. I would be bringing in. Well, maybe. I would certainly consider bringing in Thief of Sanity, potentially. So, can. Speaking of considering, considering killing the Land War Elf with Cast Down. No, let's just play the Tithe Taker for now. Can we kill this Brontodon? 
I don't really want to kill the Brontodon. Well, now, waiting on killing the Brontodon, they just get a counter with their Pelt Collector. Basically, if they had a couple of... Um, I'll take that. They had a couple of Steel Leaf Champions. That's a good trade. You don't have bindings or a thief of sandy, like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know your list, of course, completely, but it's possible that your list is just going to struggle in that matchup. So I would have preferred, like if they would have attacked with both, I would have wanted to. All right, well now definitely playing this before, like for Vivian. Oh dang, double trophy. The Pell Collector does go to a 3-3, but just a 3-3. Oh yeah, if you have Unmoored Ego, that could be... Unmoored Ego could be a card that you could use to... take out all the 8-8s. All those artifacts from the Gates deck. Expecting the Resplendent Angel to eat an Assassin's Trophy, which will give us another basic uh, so that we can cast the Mortify on this Pelt Collector right now. And gets a basic out of the deck because we do not want to draw anymore. So that's good. We're basically at a at a standstill right now. We've drawn six lands. They've drawn four. But standstill is good for us if we can uh, get to Arch of Araska. Yeah, Vivian's Arcbow. That's <laughs> talked about that one a few different times already now. But basically. I think that's a card that looks better in a preview than what it will actually play out in standard. Um, I think it's... It's not like, I'm not saying it's a bad card or anything, but I'm a little skeptical of like how good it'll actually play. Ugh. So it did have fine finality. Okay, that's not bad. No. I 
My toolbox deck is referring to a a toolbox deck is referring to a deck with a with a lot of different uh, creatures with different ETB effects. For the most part, usually a deck with like a lot of one ofs and maybe two ofs. And where you have cards that allow you to, in some form or fashion, search for those specific um, those different cards that you have in your deck. Spyglass is on Vivian Reed. Okay, blowing that up. So we'll see if they actually have a Vivian here. Which they do. So we're going to be contempting Vivian. Unless they minus. I didn't live through hell. Well, they minus. Now we can no just attack Vivian and, and kill Vivian with painless. these two tokens. So I can just contempt this 3 3. If they would have ticked up, it would have been more difficult. And so I would have had to contempt the Vivian. I've seen worse. Another Seraph's a great draw. Real pretty card to look at. And two turn clock. Dovin's Veto, the new negate. Is that the uncounterable negate? I am r really surprised they printed the uncounterable negate. Just negate is a good enough card. I just, I don't, I'm just surprised they printed that. Like, I don't know why there needs to be upside to negate, honestly. Like that. Whoa, whoops. Go back to normal. Okay, there we go. Grabbed the wrong window. I was trying to get this window over here to say that we were 1-0. Azorius needs some love. Does Azorius need any love? I already have the best Planeswalker in Standard with Teferi. They're getting a new Teferi that's awesome as well. Standard rotation happens uh, in, it's going to happen in like late September or so. It's whenever the fall set is released. The set after Core Set 2020. <laughs> Thanks, Nero. <Nier -Niro. clears throat> and the sets that will be gone are going to be the four sets in Standard right now that are before Guilds of Ravnica. Not either the Ravnica sets, all the other ones. So Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Corset 2019. Those are the sets that will be rotating out in about six months. I would be all for that Wilderness Reclamation ban. <laughs> I don't expect it to get banned at all, but you know, I would not be opposed. Wait. They're reprinting doubling season? Is there a way to know the draft rotation in Arena after Core Set 2019 that's the current set right now? Um, I would check. I'd probably check like their blog post or something. Like there's, I'm sure there's a schedule victory. somewhere. I just don't know where that schedule is or but there's probably a schedule somewhere.
Yeah, Prime's still doing free subs. Yeah. RJ. Okay, Inverse has the link for you there. There you go. All right, easy double block. Get the wild I growth walker out of here. Trade that for a knight token when they're about to play a, a jade light ranger. That's a really good trade for us. Wow, why didn't they just play the branch walker first? Make their thing a 4-6. I don't know. guess it wasn't really needed. Well, I should probably play this honor guard before the jade light comes down. Be strong. All right, they could double block with branch walkers to kill this thing. I think I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, this this song will would definitely be my reaction to Wilderness Reclamation getting banned. <laughs> Goodbye. Nice to know you. Until our paths cross again. It's alright, Johnny. You're great. I'm not sure if our opponent knows knew what Takali Honor Guard did when they just played this Jade Light Ranger out, to be honest. It's possible they did, and it's possible we're playing against a your opponent with them having all these guild gates. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Get that out of so here. So this is basically the angel decks have always like we've been struggling against Vivian Reed since you know last format. Vivian's been a, a huge trouble, but Sarah for the skills, though, allows the decks to compete with. Uh, Vivian, because, or, you know, like, we're pretty good against Vivian. With whenever they minus to kill the angel, we still have the two other tokens that kill I the Vivian. Survive. You'll see. Now, if I, if I play Midnight Reaper there, remember, Midnight Reaper says non-token. I was not drawing a card off that token dying. I could slam both of my cards... But then, if my opponent plays Finality, it's not so good for me. I don't know. If they play Finality, I draw three. And I'll still have two 1-1s. One They'd have to have Land and Finality. I'll slam them. I was certainly considering just drawing a card with Archer Baraska, though, and not playing anything. Certainly considering that. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Um, new Vivian with Wilderness Reclamation and Hydroid Crisis. Well, Hydroid Crisis, or sorry, Reclamation doesn't really do anything with Crisis of like the, you know, untapping lands, like you need an, an instant. So Sultai. Let's get Honor Guard in, Vanguard out, other a Johnny in. Cast down. RJ Rankin. Six months of Twitch Prime. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Keep do doing them. Bolus's will, Todd. I, that is one of my favorite cards, is Nicol Bolas. He's kind of a jerk in the storyline. But it is certainly a fun card to play. I think Kaya is a little overrated in this matchup. It, Kaya is good against Find. Kind of. 
But I think against us, they'll most likely be casting Finality anyway. Oh, let's just play three of Johnny. I don't want to bring in the fourth. But the problem with Kaya is, like, whenever you're behind, just playing it to exile some creatures is not going to really do you very much, because then they'll just attack the Kaya and kill it. So it's, like, good if you stabilize the battlefield already. But at that point, you know, kind of any card is good when you've already stabilized the battlefield. Not mulligating the hand with double honor guard. I do like Planeswalkers, though. I'm excited for the next set to come out, mostly just because of just playing uh, Planeswalkers. All right, Skrilly's out of finality range. I understand you seeing yourself. What I see in you. You can play Krasis at instant speed with the new Vivian. Going for this a Johnny Alt. Oh, the, the new Jace is just really good. It just you know, even without like the whole win condition part of the the card, just four mana and it has a lot of loyalty and ticking up drawing a card. I will lend you. It's really strength. solid. I kind of look at it like just a better Karn, you know, for like the decks that are like I've played like Karn in that's not really interested in the minus two ability of Karn. It's the same kind of same kind of loyalty. Look how far you. But you're just come. you're getting a And you're just like drawing a card each time, not like having the opponent choose which one of the two. I'm waiting a turn to ultimate, basically. I think I just didn't think I needed to get rid of my Ajani. The other thing about waiting a turn is then Midnight Reaper also is not going to die to finality now. Do I want a three for one them? Sure. That last song was Everybody Talks by somebody. I don't think the band's name is somebody, but some band I don't recall. All right, good job, Honor Guard. Kali Honor Guard did its thing. And we got 20 gems. Keep those gem counts going up.
I think that was my opponent's first time of playing against Honor Garden. Oh, do not want to keep the one lander. Uh, two lander, I guess. Let's draw some lands. We're on the draw. Ooh, mono blue. Could run us over. <clears throat> no obsession, please. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, go to attacks. Go to attacks. Aww. Tilt. Ow. What did the Zav ever do to you? We're gonna warm these up. There it is. We had to warm them up so we can go on a hot streak of drawing a bunch of lands in a row. That's what we need. Warm them up. Get those lands at top. Put those lands on top. I say. Um, it's how you play the hand you're dealt. Ooh, good draw. See, we warmed him up. We were drawing a heater. Right. Warm him up. Gonna get that land on top. Start dropping the Seraphs. So much card advantage. Ugh, that was not good. Yeah, I wish they would slowly. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised how many of the War of the Spark cards have already been previewed, honestly. Because it's April 1st today. The set doesn't release on Arena until the 25th. Let's try this. There's already so many cards. We've gotten seven of the sleeves. We got se seven of the guild bundles, I think. I think we're missing Azorius, Orzov, and Boros. Yeah, yeah, we've been talking about him. We've been talking about New Viv. So they got Trickster. Yeah, I think our opponent should have ultimated the Jace last turn. Definitely surprised they didn't. Ah, uh, you're in a meeting. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. Just because it isn't real doesn't mean it won't kill decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I was thinking Nissa. No, so like Vivian, yeah, Vivian's different. I was thinking Nissa. Three mana, four loyalty. The thing is, a lot of these things have a lot of loyalty.
Hmm. Ooh, hopefully no counterspell. So they have to have ex exactly... That's just not really worth playing that pre-combat. Let's see if they tap out. Because if they have the thing, if they have the card that, if they have Essence Capture, and they counter this and put a counter on the Tempest Gin, then, like, basically if they have that, then that's a lot of trouble for us. Then we can't, you know, then we can't really attack in. So they did have Essence Capture. So certainly glad I waited. This will come in handy. Let's think this through. And they have only two instants in the graveyard so far. It's a matter of give and take. They're not going to be able to adapt their Terramander. They have three instants now, four mana. And yeah, this one they can't ever adapt. Hey, Zexion. I guess they had four. I'll plan better next time. Oh, the sorcery. I was missing the charter course. That's what I missed. I missed the charter course. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, Honor Guard does stop Trickster, yes. This should distract you. Ugh. Yeah, I know the card reads instants and sorceries. I just I just missed the sorcery when I was looking over them. I I of course know that that's what the card it does. But when I was just looking in the graveyard I missed it. when I was counting. <laughs> All right, we'll switch them up. We'll have each attack, each attack one. I feel like our opponent could have done better with their Jaces. Like, I don't think we should be in this, but we're in this. Dang. Never mind, we're not in this. It's a matter of give and take. <laughs> yeah, they have they have not been playing their Jaces very well. For example, they just Can played that really that land from their eyes. hand when they could have just cycled it away a couple of times. <laughs> just had to ditch that Trickster. Do 
I don't together, have any. We are unstoppable. No, I have nothing to go grab. You are capable of more than you assume. Have y'all ever had played in a Johnny and your opponent have like a Terramander in play and you you put a counter on their Terramander so they can't adapt it? Y'all ever done that? There is always an answer. I will not back down. See, is right, believe another illusion. Or is it? All right. Come on, angel. Any angel. Take an angel. All right, well. Should have said take an angel. The deck heard the word take at the wrong I will lend you my strength. The wrong time for me. <laughs> Never done that before, but now I have a new life's mission. Was really bad for us. Let's think this through. This that was not man. ideal at all. That's their third curious obsession. Well, glad they had to discard all these charter courses. That works. So if they have Trickster, the Honor Guard stops Trickster. They do. Look how far you have come. Yeah, we should already be like really dead. <laughs> Our opponent attacked a Johnny for two before. If they would have attacked us, I don't know. We should we should already be really dead. But we're still alive. Not dead yet. And we're likely going to be able to just attack with this Lyra. Uh. Hmm. Strength is born of struggle. I guess I cannot attack with the Lyra because I die on the swing back. A dive down would be a really good card for our opponent to have. Basically, I think we, we still win what's on the battlefield here. Ugh. It's if they have dive down, we don't win. And it looks like our opponent has dive down if they're attacking out like this. Well. Huh. No dive down? That's odd. They just have no blockers either. See in what? yourself what I see in you. What? That was a game we had no business being in. But we'll take it. 
Got a bunch of duresses. Kaya's good. Mortify's good. Contempt's fine. Yeah, we did not did not deserve to be in that one, but we were. All right, I'm cutting a Mortify or a Contempt. I'm cutting one of these two. The only reason why it's not just Contempt immediately is because our opponent having the Hase. But we'll still do Contempt. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right there with you, Zerf. Like. I'm happy we won that, but in no world should we have won that. No, Spyglass does not stop Curious Obsession at all. I like having the Tithe Taker out early. Tithe Taker is good at having our removal spells kill their creatures. Okay, I don't need more to draw more lands though. We didn't need a double land there. Deck. No more lands. <laughs> removal spell. Oh, we brought in a bunch of removal. Dang it, no removal spell. And I don't think I want to attack with the Tithe Taker and trade with the Storm Tamer. Simply because having the Tithe Taker in play is going to help a Seraph resolve next turn. No, it's like this. I took these. That was not a good time to cast the Merfolk Trickster. Oh, wait, they had to because they wouldn't be able to cast it on my turn because it's Ice Taker, right? Right, right, right. Do I want to trade Tithe Taker for Trickster now that that's resolved? I think so. Yeah, now I'll make that trade and get a 1 1 to block. not ideal. It's not ideal at all. Can we draw a Lyra? Come on, deck. Lyra. All right, at least we got another Seraph in play. <clears throat> if they have an, if they have a third Trickster, we're dead. This last card's Trickster. Because they can just block. They can just tap a Seraph, and we can only block the one Terramander, the two two Terramander, and they have the four one ones that kill us. That still kills us, right? Yeah, so that's still four. Just barely died. Didn't see any of these eight removal spells. Or Lyra. 
We just drew a bunch of lands. Ugh. Yeah, I think they've only drawn one counter in like the two games. I don't think they have very many counters in their deck. Or no, they no, they drew two two counters the first game. All right, better hand. Got the tithe taker still again, but now we actually have a cast down. And Resplendent Angel on three is better than History on three. <laughs> That's fun to do. Sorry. Sorry, that was annoying you. Too early to trade Tithe Taker off. Trading Tithe Taker off in the later game, whenever they can have the mana to easily pay for the one, is just fine, but it's too early for that. Love having the Honor Guard here, so now we know that they can't trickster our Angel like they did last game. That's definitely good for us. Need more power. Charge up this draw. Get that Seraph. Uh, Seraph. Hmm. That's okay. It's okay. We got the land so that uh, we'll have just one more land. We get to start activating our Splendid Angel, and that's kind of game over. But now we have the extra land if we draw Lyra. So we want to draw Lyra, land, or uh, Seraph. Seraph would still be just fine. I'll take it. All right, I think we're at the point where we're just trading Tithe Taker now. Basically, trading for a Storm Tamer is just fine. That helps us unlock the cast down. All right, and Orzhov Angels is three and O. Oh. Resplendent Angel is awesome. And we're three and O. Oh. Having cast down was really convenient against that big Tempest Gen. Resplendent Angel is a great card. I'm going to miss Resplendent Angel. Mulligan. Keep. Hmm. I mean, it looks great. Our opponent's on all seven. Ugh. This has been a good, good matchup for Resplendent Angel. The thing about Resplendent Angel, it's usually like it's the, at its best in the later game. Just only having the three land, I wouldn't mind having a little bit more land to get to Lyra, but now I don't need any more land. I certainly regret putting it onto the bottom for everything that's happened here. Oh yeah, I don't I don't like the best of one format, Miso Miso. I don't like that format at all. It just All it all the best of one format and like it just incentivizes you to play something 
very <laughs> linear, whether it's hyper control or hyper aggro. There's just nothing really in between that you can do without a sideboarding. So yeah, that's the way you just saw. It's just lots and lots of aggro decks and lots and lots of control decks. That's about it. So I'd rather have Kaya resolve, I think, than history. Led with history there. Come on, removal. Ugh, that's not a good draw. Somebody bothering them. <laughs> I'll make not those. on my watch. Let's get that Terra Man before it gets really big. Thanks, Reverium. Glad to have you here. You beat me this time. Bravo. All right, it resolved. It resolved. Now the cards they need are Tricksters and Dive Downs. Please don't attack. Please don't attack. Hooray, no attack. That means no Dive Down. Ugh. Why can't I have my Resplendent Angel punished so hard by not keeping that Resplendent Angel? This attack could be good for me. So I attack. No, it's not. Because of Terramander growing. If it wasn't for Terramander, I'd be attacking and just trading, uh, you know, deal five, gain five, take seven kind of thing. I should not have played this Tide Taker here. I don't think Because I think I want to just attack with a Reaper, right? I guess I can wait till next turn. Nah. So we'll just see what we draw. I don't think I'll need that two mana, but it's possible I do. What's up, Nitty? Life is good. Playing a lot of Magic. We got these. Got a good amount of these 3D cards that are really sweet. Dang it. Our opponent found a dive down. Oh, that's terrible for us. Why are they not attacking with Terramander also? That's odd. Does this ever get better for me? Is there, like, a reason not to block. I could have like, I don't know, a removal spell in response. How does this get better for me? This removal spell in response doesn't work against Storm Tamer. We don't have any like Shalai's. I mean, basically drawing Seraph of the Scales. Seraph is like the card I want to draw. Or Resplendent. That's that's another good one. Either of those. Not the stupid Adanto Vanguard. Do they just have Trickster? Oh, they have Blink. Huh. I 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, playing best of three is much, much better than best of one. Yeah, glad you gave the game some more time and it didn't just quit because of best of one. It is... It's not a good format. Get back in here, Seraph. So I think it's possible that my opponent, you know, didn't have the dive down and they were just seeing if I would block and if I didn't block like that, you know, that they would have the, the bounce spell and be able to set up a, a win for the next turn. But if I did block, they were going to into the royal or whatever that card's called. Blink of an eye, that's the name of the card. It's the same card as into the royal, but that's just an old card. But anyway, they're going to blink of an eye their own creature. I assume that the new Planeswalkers will have new uh, dialogue. I don't think they'll have the same. I don't think they'll be saying the same stuff over and over again. I don't think they'll be saying, I'm not done yet, or whatever. Certainly my worst card was Honor Guard. I'm gonna wait. I don't want them to be able to use their mana on my turn. I wanna this is why I like having instants like Mortify and Contempt. Alright, gonna kill the obsession so they don't get to just start drawing cards. That's good. That, you know, used, made them want to use their counterspell like that. Very good. No land drop, no land drop, no land drop. Tilt. Ooh. Okay. So. So we can... So we have a lot of choices here. If we play... If we play Lyra and they have, like, a bounce spell, that could be really bad for me. I think I want to just, like, have Kaya get rid of the Storm Tamer. Even though Kaya dies. But then they're... Then they're only back to just attacking with a couple tutus. Yeah, they could have a Blink or they could even just have Trickster. It's probably just good just to have Lyra in play. They don't have very many Blinks and Tricksters in their deck. Just really hope it's not Blink of an Eye. Trickster is just, you know, like a one-turn kind of thing. That's fine. It's just a one-turn thing. And now hopefully we draw a land where we get to Kaya plus Resplendent Angel. Do both of those. So hoping to draw the land. Okay, well, Cast Down and Kaya is not bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I faced undead horrors. This is child's play. All right, so they storm tamer this. I could cast down that. I could still cast down it, but just that they have dive down. It's not great for me of them being able to use that mana on my turn. I'd rather them have to use the mana on their turn. So I'll just wait on this cast down. Three instants for Terramander. Because with us having the blocker, I don't. I'm not as scared about the obsession right now. I'd rather start getting rid of the creatures. So I don't think I really need to cast down on their turn before they draw because I have this really good blocker. So I'm kind of forcing my opponents to have to have something to deal with this. Dang. All right, but now we should be good to go from here, though. I think like they're tapped out. We know Resplendent Angel is going to resolve, so I think we win from here. Like, I guess they could have more tricksters. <laughs> I, had I think we're good. Business to attend to anyway. No, I don't think I should have upkeeped. I don't regret not upkeeping that cast down. Because I wasn't even planning on casting the cast down because of uh, Spell Pierce. I wasn't actually planning on casting it until they did something that forced me to, to cast it. Which was which playing the Storm Tamer was. And the Lyra Resplendent combination should get us here. So Powerhouse said, why did I play Kaya that, that previous turn instead of the Resplendent Angel? Because they could have had a counter spell, and I really did not want Resplendent Angel getting countered. If they countered Kaya, it's kind of like whatever. But Resplendent Angel was really important, and so that's why I, I led with the Kaya. Uh, because if they had counter magic, I really did not want Resplendent getting countered. I forgot about Duress. We haven't seen Duress at all. And I say that, now we're going to have, like... Eight duresses this game. I'll just be like, how do we have so many duresses? Enchantments are permanents, yes. So, yes. Obs Curious Obsession is a permanent, it's an enchantment. Anything that stays on the battlefield is a permanent. But we are certainly going to have one duress for not how I didn't say anything about it. I forgot I said that. Hmm. Definitely think about just taking the opt. Just have the cast down trade with the spell pierce. No, I'll take the Spell Pierce. You should definitely opt first. They could have just found Curious Obsession. Alright, can we draw a land, please, Duck? Please? Land...
They might have found that Curious Obsession off the Opt because they kept it on top incredibly fast. Come on, land. Come on, land. I can get a great when you got. Hooray, we got the land. No dive downs to be seen. And there we go. The problem with cast downing on my turn is I don't really know what I want to cast down. Like, so I could have just like cast down the Terramander on my turn, and then they have the... They still have like the Storm Tamer, and then they just put the Obsession on the Storm Tamer, and then they have two mana available to go with Storm Tamer, and Storm Tamer turns on Wizard's Retort. So I like I like saving the cast down because even though we didn't get to kill the Terramander, we still made them use the mana for the Storm Tamer on their turn, and then they only have one mana left. It's possible they had retorts in hand. Who knows? Or drew retort, or anything like that. All right, so we are four zero. Where's our final boss playlist? Let's get that five wins. What do you think about Teamer Reclamation right now? I think it's I think it's strong. I think it's a good deck. It's one that I never like being paired against. And it's one I'm pretty pretty scared of moving forward. Teamer Reclamation doesn't really mind people playing four and five mana planeswalkers and stuff like that. And then it kinda only has like search for Ascanta and I don't know, like Fiery Cannonade, Shiv and Fire is like the only things that are rotating. Basically just as Kanta. So Mono Green... Hythe Taker or Honor Guard? This could be Elves, like with a, you know, with Adventurous Impulse, it's kind of looking like it could be Elves. They could have like Marwyn. And if that's the case, then if they play a Marwyn, I could play like Honor Guard. Honor Guard, of course, stops the Pelt Collector from growing for the ETB effect. I do like just being able to trade with the collector here. Hmm. Alright, so what I the thing that I had wrong um, of my assess assessment why I play Tithe Taker over Honor Guard. I wasn't, you know, I was just thinking about those two. I wasn't really thinking about my mana. I thought I was going to be able to curve out and be able to play, like, History and Resplendent Angel the next turn, and, and I wanted the 2-1 the over, like, the, the curve out chances. All right, Seraph can block one, Steel Leaf. Are you so are you talking about in paper, Sip the Jack? So in paper, you can order individual cards. I uh, best website for that is is TCG Player. Just search for Magic TCG Player. Gulp. 
that. Uh... Let's still win this. Not dead yet. Nine, eight, seven. No, not really, Clip. Not, no plans on playing modern again. Um, just like Arena a lot more. The other White Source is a pretty good draw, being able to play the Sister Benali as well. I do not want them to attack out. I would rather them just attack with... Like, like just Galta or something. I don't want them to attack with Galta and Steel Leaf, because that means we have to block with Resplendent Angel. Oh, you're welcome, OG Trilla. Now, this is better for me, that they're attacking out like this, that we get to block with the Resplendent Angel and keep the Resplendent Angel alive. That's good for me. All right, so we can just block there, block there. Um, this thing block here. we we'll just take Galta. They could have some weird pump spell and kill us, but whatever. That is certainly not a good attack of them attacking with the Pell Collector also. I'd get to just gain four life and stay alive and not have to throw anything else in there. And there. And yeah, we have lethal on the way back. So Galta plus Steel Leaf was their best attack. Attacking with the other ones made it a lot easier for me. There's a new code, Power Flower. Is that Flower Flourish? So, Cast Down, Contempt, Mortify. Kaya can clear up Pulp Collector and... Hmm. Pelt and Land War Elf. Oh, it's an April Fool's joke? Oh. I'm not very good at the April Fool's joke stuff. Hmm. Anything else we're missing here? No, this looks reasonable. This is our second time to play against a mono green deck today. Played against one with Sultai Vanifar earlier as well. We're pretty fortunate being 4 0 and getting paired against the mono green menace. I mean, if we hit our land drops, this hand's good. Sarah of the Scales is really good. And Mortify is very good. Yeah, that's true. They're going to have Vivian. I should have. I should have Spyglass for Vivian. That's a good good call. What do y'all think? Keep this? I mean, Mortify Seraph is good. Yeah, I think, I think I'm going to keep. Obviously, our hand could do absolutely nothing if we just draw a bunch of expensive spells and no lands. That's a good draw.
Oh, you ended up deleting all of your decks? Because the googly eye things? I have to admit that I do not like the googly eye things either. But that's not, not good, deleting all the decks. I want to save Mortify for a potential Galta, or even the 5-4. The Splendid Angel is probably just trading with one of these. Like, Pell Collector is probably just going to be like a 3-3. Three, three. And History would have been a better card to play if I had... Yeah, I should have just played History, because History still trades with Branch Walker. I should that should have just been History. That was that was bad by me playing the Resplendent Angel. Alright, that's lethal. Should have played History last turn, because so I was thinking like they would play some creature and then the history history is not trading with the Pell Collector where um Resplendent Angel could. No, we don't have any Kai's Rats in our deck. That was a good hand on the play for the opponent. We're on the play now, though. I like our chances. Our hand didn't end up being that bad. We had removal on turn two, creature on three, and then, you know, creature on four, and we were dead. Just really good uh, hand for the opponent. Shadow 5151 with that sub. That is the fourth sub of the day. Thank you so much, Shadow. Get our sub battle countdown down to 66 now. Yeah, these 3DR cards you have to spend gems on to upgrade them. All right. Now, Honor Guard's going to stop half of Pelt Collector. They still get to get the counters as long as, like, whenever the creatures die with Pelt Collector. They don't get anything for the ETB creatures now. So blocking with the 2-2... Two -two. It does grow Pelt Collector, but it does make it harder to cast Galta. We got no blocks. Because next turn when we play a Johnny, we'll have Honor Guard be a 2 4. Oh, our opponent's on a Mulligan to 5? No, oh, I didn't quite notice that. And we have like a, a great curve here of 2 drop into history into a Johnny. And we're on the play, and they add a mold of five. Well, Growth Chamber Guardian can kind of... I can make up a mold of five. May need to just mortify that right now. Does anybody know where that that article is that that tells the pricing that it where it says how how expensive it is for the cosmetics? Because I do want to make that a command for people that because it is a new thing. 
for like people like Rabman that are asking about it. Question was, why not wait to make them waste mana on an Adapt before Mortifying it? That would assume that they would just spend mana on their turn for Adapt. Like, if that's me, I'm not- I'm just passing the turn and I'm not adapting in, until my opponent's turn. Like, if I was the opponent, especially how they have, only have two cards in hand, they may not have anything better to do. Our kinship ensures our victory. You are capable of more than you assume. Is there any downside to not waiting though? Then we, because if if we do okay, so if we just wait, we go to their turn, and let's say our opponent passes back and does not does not actually adapt, like I'm saying, then we'd have to mortify on their turn, so that we use our mana and we can start playing our other cards in hand, and then in response to our mortify, then they can adapt and they go get their creature, and then it was just a waste of a mortify. So yes, a huge downside for waiting. Not you, you. Deliver us to victory. So they need to double block to be able to kill the 4 4. Right, we will mortify that thing. But we're looking good here. I think I just got like an eyelash in my eye. There we go. It's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone. Have them trade Pelt Collector for the 4-4. Strong. And we have a Johnny Ultimate and all this other stuff. Takali Honor Guard did a great job of saving our creatures from Harpooner. Strength. I guess I can make both of these things lethal. Guess I don't really need an, a Johnny ult. Make them have to single block both of them, because with the activation, they can both deal seven. And so they did single block, so we'll make the eight eight life links. We gain eight, and make a couple four fours. And that should be game. I don't know, there could be some weird double strike card that I don't really that I'm not really thinking of, but maybe they give the Galt a double strike somehow and kill me. So I'll just throw... I'll just throw a lot of power in front of that. There we go, that's a 5-0. Victory! Is the Zombies deck good to climb best of three ladder? I mean, it's not, it's not like a tier one deck. 
it's good against control decks if you get paired against control decks quite a bit, but no, it's not a it's not a tier one deck. I know some people in the chat have said they've climbed used it to climb best of one. Surprisingly there, but it's a fun deck to play. And it's good against control. It's, it's not bad, but it's like a, a tier two, tier three deck. All right, thanks, Bobadi. Bo Bo so, uh, overall, Orzhov Angels felt pretty good. Seraph of the Scales was really good. Uh, we did face a bunch of aggro decks. We played Mono Blue twice. You know, we just played Mono Green there. Uh, I don't remember exactly what else we played besides that, but other, I think there were kind of other more aggressive decks. Uh, we played against a Sultai deck that Honor Guard completely shut them down. That's right. And yeah, these Angel decks are, are pretty good. Johnny was really strong. Our Angels are awesome. Seraph of the Scales is great. Having Cast Down and Mortify is really good. We didn't play against uh, like a Wilderness Reclamation deck, but having access to Mortify and duress certainly makes our wilderness reclamation matchup better with orzov than what it does for mono white there but all right that's orzov angels so if you're watching this video later on don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're watching this on youtube that is but thanks for watching and i will see you for the next video